Good morning everybody and um, today I would like to share with you um, a book called The Color Monster and um, it's a really fun book and all our children really really enjoy it. Um, so let's have a look. This is my friend The Color Monster. Today he's feeling all mixed up but he doesn't understand why. Look at you monster, you are a mess. Looking at me, it's all muddled up with all the different colors. You've jumbled up all of your emotions and all of your colors too. It's all jumbled up. Look at all the colors, all mixed up. I know. You can separate your feelings and put each one in its own jar. If you'd like, I can help you. She's going to help. Ooh, what is this person? This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you are happy, you laugh and you jump and you dance and you play. You want to share that feeling with everybody. Really, really happy. The yellow. This is sadness. It's gentle and blue like a rainy day. When you're sad, you might want to cry or be alone. Look, he's sitting on the bed a little bit sad. Blue. This is anger. It blazes bright red. When you're angry, you want to stomp and you roar and you want to shout. It's not fair. Look, he's not happy he's shouting. Oh, this is red. This is fear. It hides in the black shadows. When you are afraid, you feel tiny and helpless. Fear makes it hard to be brave. Look, he's hiding behind the bushes. This is fear. Oh, look at him. This is calm. It is as light as a green leaf floating in the wind. When you calm, you breathe slowly and deeply. You feel at peace. Oh, he's feeling very calm. All your feelings are in their places now. See, they are easier to understand. They're not all mixed up together. So there we have, there is the sadness. And we have the anger, and then we have the fear, and we have the calm, and then we have the happiness. Mm. Is there anything else? Oh, but wait, there's one feeling left over. What could it be? Look at the pink monster, it's got lots of hearts around him. I wonder what feeling this could be. I think it's love. Pink for love. And that's the end. Okay, so after reading the color monster, a story, you can do many activities at home that uh, you can enjoy the children of different ages. And um, one of the things that you could do is to do a little puppet so you can then use it during the story. And um, you can use wooden spoons, for example, and get a piece of fabric or a piece of paper in the different colors of the emotions. Wrap it around um, the spoon, the top of the spoon, and glue it. And then you can draw the face of the different feeling. So this is sad. Oh, you can do red, angry, and then use it during the story. Um, other, another thing you can do, you can get some pieces of paper and a mirror, um, and then look at your face and think, oh, how am I feeling today at this moment? and then try to draw your face on the paper with different emotions, whether you feel happy or a little bit sad or a little bit angry or you calm. Um, so different expressions you can draw on the paper, your portraits. Um, and then something for the younger children, you can put in a container um, some shading foam and then use different colored food colorings, which you can then put inside of uh, shading foam and then use your hands to mix up all the colors together and you can then talk about the feelings and the story online um, as you play with it. Um, if you would like any more um, ideas or suggestions for um, this story um, using different templates and props, just let us know. Um, we've got lots of things that we can email you, um, so either email us or call us if you've got any ideas or anything you'd like from us. I um, hope you're going to enjoy it. Bye!